What is up, YouTube? There will be another story later on how I ended up in dire straits. There are several stories actually that lead up to the culmination of the fact that I ended up working for a pimp. I was working for a pimp uh, doing websites, uh, you know, adult sites, and things of that nature. Uh, he had an escort service type thing that he was trying to get off the ground. And I did all his design work uh, for him. And uh, his name is Ponytail. Ponytail was a really cool dude. Um, and I don't ever judge him. But I don't give a fuck. You know, if the devil came up to me and said, hey, I got a job for you, I would do it. I don't, I don't judge customers. As long as they treat me with respect and um, they're not dicks or assholes, um, I don't have a problem working with them. So anyway... Ponytail was in the process of getting inventory for pleasure parties. And pleasure parties are the equivalent of Tupperware parties where people would get, girls would get together and they'd have all kinds of uh, sex toys that they would use to, you know, handle business if their man wasn't available or if their man was incapable. Well, on this particular day, Ponytail said, hey, Rob, nigga, I need you to come with me. We're going to check this shit out. I need you to promise me something. And I said, sure thing, man. What's up? I need you to conduct yourself like a motherfucking grown man. I said, no worries. I can do that. Because, you know, we go into a fucking sex shop type motherfucking thing that's going to blow your motherfucking mind. I need you to be a grown motherfucker in here. And I was like, all right, whatever. So we go to this fucking this warehouse and and it did take me aback because I walked in and there was every fucking adult novelty item you could possibly imagine and probably 10 other things that in your wildest imagination you couldn't even imagine it was just ridiculous there were fucking golf golf pins you know that you put the balls on that the bottom prong part were shapes of dicks okay and I was like who the fuck would use that I so anyway, so we're going down the aisles and he's checking item numbers and he's going off this big fucking spreadsheet and he's marking stuff off and we get to these fucking dongs, right? And they start off at the little small size and they end up at these big giant King Kong black ones, balls and all, right? And I'm like, and like this big, and I'm like, who the fuck could handle that? That's, that's bigger than a fucking baby's head coming out, you know? And so I'm walking, all of a sudden, I see a flash, and I just get, pow, smacked in the back of the head. And I stumble forward, and I turn around, and here's fucking Ponytail holding, holding one of them big black ones like it's a fucking dick saber. And he's hit me with it. I said, motherfucker. What happened to conducting myself like a grown man? You know, what, what happened to those rules? He said, nigga, I said you need to conduct yourself like a grown motherfucker. I didn't say I had to, so I grabbed one, and we're swinging them at each other, and it's like dicks hitting and shit, you know, blap, 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 and I'm just fucking, we're laughing, and this dude, hey, we're like, oh shit, boop, we throw the dicks and go down the hot thing and continue. <coughs> and I'm like, Motherfucker, you hit me with a dick. He said, yeah, that shit was fucking funny as a motherfucker, you know? <laughs> yeah, it was fucking ponytail for you. He was a fucking comical motherfucker. But I learned something very interesting. Anybody who buys anything in the adult uh, industry, you're you're paying something that typically has a markup of two to 300%. Um, for example, clothing. Clothing is even worth, uh, uh, worse. worse. You get uh, G-string, for example, Wholesale price on that might be a buck, but they turn around and sell that shit for 15 bucks. You know what I mean? Uh, retail. So you're looking at huge markup in that adult industry uh, novelty items. So anyway, Ponytail, you know, he, he was a fun fucking dude. Um, he, he, was a, he was a character. He was a fucking character. But you know what? He was one of the most realest, nicest motherfuckers. If, if uh, birthdays rolled around, he always called up. Um, you know, any any holiday, Christmas, Thanksgiving, whatever, he always reached out and checked up on the family and was there. And 
all the work I did for him, he always paid on time. He paid paid well, and it was great. So uh, that's the story of uh, the warehouse with ponytail. Fucking crazy shit. All right, guys, uh, that's it for that one. Um, hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, if you like it, like it. Please subscribe. Tell all your fucking friends about it. Until next time.